Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to make a very, very easy jingle bell necklace. This is something you can whip up in just a minute or two if you're going to a holiday party, or if you just want to add a little sparkle to your outfit this week and next week. So to begin, I just have some Vanish Choice Glamour. This is the platinum colorway. Actually, this project was inspired by my Jingle Bell Garland, and be sure and check that out. We're gonna make a cluster of bells at the bottom, as shown in the picture, but the Jingle Bell Garland, they're spaced. So you could actually use that pattern if you want your bells to be that way instead and just make it into a necklace. We're gonna make a little cluster of these. You'll also need a four millimeter G crochet hook, a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. If you want to use a different yarn, if you have some other sparkly or holiday yarn on hand, just check your yarn label for the recommended hook size. Okay, alternatively, you could use some beads as well. I have here some, some holiday beads. And actually these bells uh, were left over uh, from a holiday bracelet that had broken and I actually recycled these, but you can find these little bells at the craft store. You can even get bigger bells or whatever you want to do. So let's begin. To begin our necklace, we're going to put the bells on our yarn first. So we're going to thread the tapestry needle. And then we're just going to put all of these little bells. Mine have loops at the top. It makes it a lot easier to string these. And we're making a cluster. So just get all of these on here. No particular uh, color sequence or anything like that. So just go ahead and string them all on there. I'm just going to put every single one on there. So just go ahead and get them all on there. And some of my bells are larger, some are smaller. Doesn't really matter. It actually makes it look a little bit more interesting with the different sizes. And if you want to recycle your own bells, you can take apart a decoration or recycle a piece of jewelry, make a new piece of jewelry. And the thing that I like about making these yarn necklaces is that the yarn um, feels soft against the neck. It's not scratchy or anything like that. Okay, so we just have all of our bells. You can already see it's making this pretty cluster. Once all the bells are on your yarn, then you can just slide the bells out of the way for a moment. Then we're going to put a slip knot on our hook. To make a slip knot, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your crochet hook, and tighten. We're going to make the chains for half of our necklace. We're going to make Half of our necklace, put the bells on, then make the other half of our necklace. So begin just by making as many chains as you'd like half of your necklace to be. I wanted mine to be kind of long, so I'm gonna make chains, and you might have to push these aside. But just keep making chains until your necklace is as long as you would like it to be. So now I have to push my bells. Our necklace sounds very, very festive. Okay, so we're just making chains. I'm gonna make some more chains and we'll rejoin in just a moment. So I went ahead and finished up my chains and I wanted to say as a side note, um, our chains, are very stretchy and these bells are heavier so you want to account for a good bit of stretch because these bells are going to kind of pull down your necklace a little bit so once you get to where you want to be you're going to just simply slide all these bells over up against your crochet hook then you're going to wrap the yarn around your hook and bring it through the chain you're just going to make a chain as you normally would Okay, and that'll make a, a nice little cluster at the bottom. So then you're just gonna proceed. 
with your chains and finish up your necklace and try to get it the length that you began. Okay, so I just kind of held mine parallel and just worked chains like that so I could see how much length I was getting. Again, this is such an easy project. This is actually a great project for kids because it requires um, no stitches, just chains. So if you want to practice and do a fun, crafty project with your kids, you can just have them make a bunch of chains and make a necklace. Okay, so we're just making the same, roughly the same length as the other side. And I didn't count chains. If you feel more comfortable counting the chains to get the exact same number on both sides, definitely feel free to do that. Okay, so we just have a little bit more to go and our necklace will be complete. And this is a great way too to use up some holiday yarn that you may otherwise have after the holidays are over. So our knot was right here. So I'm almost finished. And this is very sparkly and festive. And like I said before, it's a great project for kids, especially if you have kids that love to make presents for people. This would make a very cute and thoughtful gift as well. Okay, so you just made about the same chains on both sides. Then you can cut your yarn and go ahead and fasten it off. And then I simply just tied my two tails, locate the two knots. I simply just tied these two tails together. And you can just cut the tails or you can take a, a small tapestry needle and weave those tails in. It's totally up to you. I'm just going to snip it. Um, but again, you can do it however you like. But just make sure you get that knot nice and secure because those bells are going to be um, weighing down your necklace and you can use less spells than I did if you like but I wanted mine to be extra festive okay so I'm just getting <clears throat> a bunch of knots into my yarn here I tend to over knot but I don't want it to fall apart so I just snip that off just like that okay so our Jingle Bell necklace is complete. It looks very pretty and festive and sparkly and all the things you want around the holidays. Okay, so that is how you crochet the Jingle Bell necklace. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.